Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. By the looks of what you can see on your screen, you probably can assume that we're going to be talking about Player of the Month for League 1, or League 1, as some of you guys call it, in today's video. And I do want to talk about the League 1 Player of the Month because there's a possibility, again, for another big-time player getting a Player of the Month card, and that is Kylian Mbappe. Um, from PSG. Of course, we've had Neymar, we've had Ben Yedder, we've had Thiago Silva as some of the winners from this award this year. First time ever in FIFA this year that we've had a player of the month from Ligue 1 and from uh, La Liga for that matter as well. But we have another one coming up here. The voting has technically ended, I think. I don't know if I can actually click on these and vote for them. I'll try that in a second. But our three nominations for this month are Kylian Mbappe, Renato Sanchez, and Savanir. Now, looking at some of these guys' stats, Mbappe on the month, I know this is in French, I don't know French, but I can kind of put this together. I think this means four goals and one assist, um, and then they went undefeated with one draw on the month of February. This is, again, for the month of February. Savanier had three goals, one assist, but they took some losses. They got beat 5-0 in that game. They got beat 1-0 uh, twice, so... Uh, that was not the best playing into the player of the month stats and then Rado Sanchez uh, From a defensive role had two goals and one assist as well So looking at the statistics and again, th there's a big fan vote that is involved here with the league on player of the month I do think Mbappe is gonna be the one can I vote can I and registrar mon vote? Is it I don't think it's gonna let me I think the voting might be closed but because for some reason I can't click on that but this SBC should be coming out in the next couple days, and I want to talk about it because I think Mbappe is going to win. I think it's the, he's a the clear choice winner just because it's Mbappe, right? It's PSG. Uh, a PSG player has won this award. I think now if Mbappe wins this, it will be three out of the last four player of the months have been won by a PSG player. We had Thiago Silva, then Ben Yedder, then Neymar, and then now Mbappe if he does win this one, which I think that he will. So... And I want to talk about this Neymar SBC. I want to talk about since the whole you know virus situation is going on, is this award actually going to be released? Uh, which I think that it actually will be, um, even though that I think France right now is under like a state of, of lockdown. I don't know exactly about that, but um, this Bruno Fernandez Player of the Month award was released today on foot. So I think they're going to release the um, the League One Player of the Month award as well. So if this one can come out. I think the Mbappe Player of the Month would come out as well. The Bruno Fernandes was a little bit delayed. There's a possibility with this Mbappe that could be delayed as well. But I want to talk about the hype from this SBC. And of course, can we invest for the Mbappe? Can we make some coins off of that? And what are you going to see happen to a lot of his special cards on the game? Because Mbappe is a very, very top tier player in this game. And I'm going to go take a look at one of his special cards right now that is very popular and, and kind of talk you guys through the situation on what you might see with some of these special cards. So this Mbappe right here is the one that I want to look at the most because uh, it's one of the two that I want to look at the most. Of course, Mbappe has plenty of informs this year. If we go and take a look at his special cards, uh, these cards really aren't moving that much in the panic cell. Wow, there's a huge price difference here between Xbox and PlayStation on this Mbappe inform. That's actually crazy. There's literally like a 500K, 550K difference between these cards on both consoles, which is pretty crazy. But um, this Mbappe card, we haven't seen much panic selling yet uh, with these cards. I don't know if people realize that his Player of the Month is coming. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of compare this to the Messi play. Wow, that's an undercut right there, 2.2. I'm gonna kind of compare this to the Messi Player of the Month and the Neymar Player of the Month that we have already had in this game. And you know what? We have these Player of the Month SBCs nowadays. Oftentimes, we see more market move movements related around the other special cards that this player has. So, like, we should see more movements with Mbappe's informs and his other special cards than we might actually see with investments in the game because these SBCs have been so overpriced that a lot of people aren't just going out and doing them and selling everything to do them right away. So you don't see a ton of movements. It's it's a lot of time people have been completing these over a gradual amount of time. We have a month to do them. And think about how many people, I've had so many people come and tell me that they have finished the Neymar SBC. And since those people have finished Neymar, I think there's a pretty high probability they will try to finish Mbappe as well because obviously these guys are not playing. So if, if the best version of their card, at least is until we get to team of the season, if they're going to have team of the season this year, might be these player of the month cards, which I think is driving some people to try to complete these SBCs. So I want to talk about that a little bit today as well. 
I want to take a look at the informs though first. So right now, that 93 rated Mbappe inform is, uh, well, not here. He's like 2.3 million coins, right? 2.3 something, which is kind of where he's been chilling. He's 1.8 on the on the Xbox. Where is that 93 Mbappe? Can I find him, please? 2.4 maybe. He might actually be like 2.4 mil. Here he is, 93 for 2.3, 2.399. So there's the highest rated version of Mbappe right now. What is this player of the month Mbappe gonna be? It's probably gonna be 94 rated. He's gonna be a plus one over this card. Most of his statistics I would expect to be plus ones, maybe a couple plus twos. So of course, 99 pace, maybe 92 or 93 shooting, maybe 87 or 88 passing, and then probably 95 dribbling, and then 82, 83 physical. Uh, I would expect just plus ones and plus twos on that card. And again, this is the stuff that we saw with the messy cards based on the past SBC, the panic selling basically. And I wanna go show you guys this really quick because I want you to be on the lookout for this before the SBC comes, right? So this messy player of the month, you can't really see it here, but there's a little bit of a rebound, right? This messy POTM card was actually 1.75 million coins. It doesn't show on the flipping graph. He was 1.75 million coins um, the night before his player of the month 97 SBC came out. So it was last week, right? Messi came out the night before he came out. He was 1.77 million coins. He rebounded that same day back up to 2 million coins flat. He actually went from 177 up to 2 million coins after his 97 player of the month SBC came out. And this SBC, as you can tell, 3.3 mil is very, very overpriced, and people just went back and bought the cards. That was the second time that happened this year. Messi, first player of the month, was also released very expensive. This card went from 2.2 mil back up to 2.5. Again, there's so many people that want to use cards like Messi, cards like Mbappe on this game, that if you do see panic selling beforehand, I think that might be one of your more better bets uh, to go get that panic sold inform or panic sold special card instead of actually doing the player of the month SBC. But let's talk more about the SBC. What is the price going to be for this card? Of course, this inform is 2.3 mil. I'm honestly thinking that they might do exact like a copy paste of this Neymar SBC, which is 2.6 million coins to complete on, uh, according to Footbin. But that would seem like, you know, the accurate price range where I think they could price this Mbappe card. And again, we can use this SBC for... Um, Kind of a reference they've been doing everything you know boys if if the sbc comes out any different than what i'm about to tell you i'd be very surprised one squad featuring a league on player one squad featuring a psg player and one squad featuring a french player that's how i would expect the the sbc to look like when you open up mbappe player of the month when the sbc is released that's how i would expect it these sbcs are so copy and paste this year the the requirements are not um you know, like individualized at all. It's just like the same formula. They keep copying, pasting. All they require is high rated golds. Uh, so this Mbappe or this Neymar required an 86, 87, 287s, and then I think 388s and 389s. So a lot of high rated players, a couple informs that you had to turn in here. And this is right now 2.6 million coins to do because high rated prices are up. High rated fodder is up in price right now because of all the SBCs we've been doing. So if this Mbappe is somebody who you do want to do, I think it's going to come out expensive and it might actually drop later on because if we go look at some high rated players at the moment, I really don't think there's much of an opportunity here to invest in this SBC. 86s or 15, 16K, um, 87s are 24,000 coins. That's high. 88s are 35K, 89s are 45, 46,000 coins for some of them. This is the type of market where you're taking the coins and you're selling high rated. This week, you guys should be selling your high rated because these are high prices. Um, we have a lot of SBCs in the store right now. We could possibly have another promo coming this Friday, which could drop them again. This is a time where you want to sell some of those high rated cards. Even with this Mbappe coming out, I really would not advise investing at all. Don't go buying Cavani's because if we go take a look at Cavani's graph, you don't want to buy this guy unless he's like 27,000 coins or below, right? 27K is a decent buy price because you can see he booms here at 35. Now he's back up to 35K after being 26K all of last week when I was telling you guys like day in and day out, make sure you get some high rated. So if you did, GG. But again, I don't think I would invest for this Mbappe SBC. It's probably going to be overpriced and that's just the nature of the beast. That's how these player of the month SBCs have been released this year on FIFA. So if you want this Mbappe card in your team, if they juice 
the player of the month and it comes out as a 95 and the SBC isn't crazily priced, uh, then you could have an opportunity to look at that. But if the SBC is anywhere over 2.5 million and there's panic selling on the 93, 92, or 91 rated special cards for Mbappe, uh, I would take a look at that panic selling first before anything else and look into more of that than I would um, with the actual doing the SBC. But I will tell you this, this SBC is going to be out for a month, right? That's how player of the month cards work. They are out for, you know, 27, 28 days. This Bruno Fernandez came out today. He's out for 27 days. If this SBC is somewhere in the realm of a doable, I think there's going to be a lot of hype and a lot of people are going to end up doing the SBC, even if it costs 2.5 mil like this Neymar is because the cool car design. Can you imagine some in somebody's team having a 94 Neymar and a 94 Mbappe linked together with the same car design? There's going to be some people in this game that go for that because Neymar and Mbappe are two of the most overpowered players in FIFA. And of course, they get the strong link, both being on PSG. And they link in popular positions, right? You could put that Mbappe at striker. You can link it to the Neymar left wing or do a cam to left mid situation. There's a lot of stuff you can do with these two cards. And I'm telling you guys, there are a lot of people in FIFA that have completed this Neymar player of the month. So that could increase some of the demand for the Mbappe player of the month. And this is the first ever Mbappe player of the month, right? We've never had player of the month cards for these big name players on foot. And now we actually have an opportunity to do that. Uh, one last thing I want to cover is will they require his gold card? They will definitely not require his gold card. If they did, I would be shocked. And that would mean a crazy rise in price for this card. He's 450,000 coins, 437 for that one right there. If they would require Mbappe's gold card, that would be, I think the second time all year they required a gold card uh, of the player who's getting the SBC. Actually, that'd be the first time. I think they required a bombing, right? I forget, but that's something that they haven't been doing for a long time. And they may have not have done that for a couple of, for a couple of years now, maybe last year for a bomb Yang. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, but I, I would be absolutely shocked if they required Mbappe's gold card for the SBC. I do not see that happen at all, but I do expect the SBC to be somewhere around the 2.5 to 3 million coin range overpriced, just like all of these other player of the month SBCs have been. So again, watch the special cards on Mbappe watches informs, watch that stuff, uh, and maybe pick up on the panic selling for some of those in the next couple days instead of doing the SBC. And then of course, this is the only problem with doing an untradeable SBC, right? You're doing the untradeable SBC, you don't have any more coins after it's over. Instead, if you buy the player, if you buy just an inform Mbappe, you still have those coins. You know, you might lose 100K or so with tax or with the price dropping headed into a promo, but you sell that card and you still have your coins and you're not stuck with that card for the rest of the year in your club. That's one benefit to also keeping a tradable card in your club over doing a, a player of the month SBC like this that you're going to have to feel like you're going to have to keep in your team for the rest of foot for sure. One last thing I want to know with you guys is the award, if you want to find out when it's released, because it's probably not going to be released in the next day or two. And Neymar SBC has a couple days left out. And especially with the virus stuff, I don't know when this SBC is actually going to be released. But this Twitter account right here, the UNFP, is the official account that has been tweeting out all of these player of the month so far all year. So just watch for this tweet around you know, like 6 p.m. UK time, 7 p.m., maybe actually like 5 p.m. UK time on uh, possibly Thursday. I think a Thursday time frame could be somewhere we look out for this. And again, this is a video that I know a lot of people are curious about because it's Mbappe, right? And again, we're probably going to get a team of the season Mbappe in a couple months. Um, even if they don't finish out the year with all of the, the postponed games and the canceled games, I do feel like there will be a team of the season just because EA can use the stats and use the stuff that players have done before all the cancellation of games and call that team of the season based on where they finished at that point, you know? So I do still think we will get team of the season because that is a, uh, in EA sports FIFA promo, and that has nothing to do with the real life football, just except for stats, right? So that's my thought about team of the season. That's just something to keep in mind as we're pretty close to team of the season. If you're going to drop 2.6 million coins or or more on an Mbappe player of the month card, you know, his, his uh, team of the season card, which is going to be probably 97 or 98 rated, will have better stats and probably will end up costing somewhere around like the 2.5 to 3 million coin range in a couple months when that does come out. So I know there's a couple months time frame in there. 
where you could say, you know, I could play a thousand games with him in that time span. That'd be a lot of games. Uh, but you could play 500 games with him in that time span and make it worth it. That's just a decision that you have to make on your own. I hopefully gave you enough information to make a really good informed decision about Mbappe and his player of the month coming up. Again, just to run down on the facts, the SBC should be out sometime at the end of this week, unless it is delayed because of the virus stuff and the cancellations and the lockdowns and all of that. Um, and I think it should be somewhere around the range of like 2.6 to 3 million coins. High rated prices are already high. It's again going to just require high rated cards and informs. And again, watch for the panic on his special cards uh, on this game. Because if there is any panic, you're going to see it in these informs. And it, the SBC is going to come out. It's going to be overpriced. And those cards are going to bounce right back up. Because this is one of the most uh, desired and used players in FIFA Ultimate Team. So if you enjoyed this video, smash your thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.